Spence joins us now. Her book is called Fighting to Survive. Judy, thanks for coming on. That title makes you think of a couple of different things, and you really talk about what your life was like. Tell everybody why you wrote the book and what the book's about. Well, I was just compelled. I absolutely had to write the book, and it just flowed. I lay for six and a half years, literally searching my husband and I both. He retired early just to help take care of me. No doctors anywhere knew what in the world was wrong with me, couldn't help me, gave me little meds, which I just flushed because nothing could help me. But I lay for six and a half years just looking out the window, practically crawling to the bathroom. Attacks were like, oh, the end stage of childbirth, but you were always in a state of childbirth, exactly like crowning a baby, and then rectally the pressure, the bones were trying to come out, your big iliacs and sacrums, and it was the most horrible, horrible thing, and uh, no doctors knew. No doctors knew. My primaries, at the time I had two women primaries, and they really, I find women very unsympathetic because they can't fathom what this disease is or how somebody could feel like this. And anyway, the only hope or help that I had, uh, I found an organization in Europe that And I've forgotten the title of it now, but we talked back and forth and just on the pain part of it. But my husband one night um, yelled about midnight, and he said, this sounds just like you. And um, we read, and it did sound, uh, the precursor is levator syndrome. Not always, but that's that's the muscle that runs between our two orifices uh, in the bottom half. But uh, men get this also, and men are more prone to go ahead and do suicide. Uh, it's just easier for them. And uh, we have two doctors in the nation, and so few doctors will work on men. There was one, but he has stopped working on pudendal period. But anyway, that night, my husband found this information. Now, this is after six and a half years. And one thing that saved me in between this, um, I went to a, I don't know what his title was, but um he had me walk up and down a hall. He said, I know what's wrong with you. And he touched my uh, left uh, butt. And he said, you have pudendal entrapment damage. And the pudendal nerve, not a lot of people know. I've, I've had doctors stare me in the face. I have never heard the word. And that's the problem. That's why I was so compelled. Nobody knows this disease. It's not taught in med school. You can tell any doctor, I have never heard of this. But anyway, this doctor sent me on to an orthopedic not surgeon, uh, the tops in Knoxville. He works on the ball players and whatever. And he thought it was coccidemia. Well, he helped me a bit, but he would even call at night to see if I'd been able to get any rest. But in 09, in 09, um, uh, I've forgotten how I found him, but I was down to 88 pounds, just desperate, desperate. Wow. And I found um, someone at UT at Erlinger Hospital in Chattanooga, and he was a um, a reconstruction doctor, and he also worked on pudendal uh, nerve entrapment or inflammation and sorts, but literally 
He saved my life. I was down to crawling in the floor, and you begged to die. You just begged to die. The pain is so horrendous in your bottom half, and everything is trying to get out of you. You don't go. You don't do anything. Doctors and hospitals and searching is your life, but internal injections has saved me, and that's what he did. But um, anyway, I pursued, and after I found him, I put out a YouTube. Uh, You can't find any help without letting other sufferers know. And this was June of 07 that I got it, and I was such a vital person, a landscape designer, an interior designer. Um, I did absolutely everything healthy, healthy, but knocked flat, just out of the blue. Mm. Started with low backache, and I've known people. Uh, now that pe- I, I did the YouTube and people just called, I used to spend about four hours every afternoon on the phone talking with people uh, just who were searching and desperate. And, of course, there was no help. Europe had one doctor. Wow. And um, anyway, uh, and I, I would say if you can get here, we have someone who at least can do internal um, injections to help with the pain. So, but, so let me stop you. So we, because we don't, yeah. we have a limited amount of time. So you, it's great right. you unfolded the story for us. The book is called uh-huh. "Fighting to Survive." We're speaking with Judy uh-huh. Rents. This horrible thing happens to you. You're vital. You can't find an answer. How are you feeling now? Well, uh, in thirteen, I put out a world plea. I didn't know where it was going to go, but my husband had given me an iPad. And I just said, is there anybody in this world that knows anything that can help me? And a doctor answered me in less than five minutes. And he had retired from Mayo as a urologist, but he had, that's a lot of times where people are sent. But uh, anyway, he answered and he listed three others above himself. And they're all gone now. But at 81, there was no doubt who I was going to choose. And uh, at 81, he did my surgery. It was bilateral through the uh, rear. And uh, they take out all the nerves and um, comb them, separate them. And the nerve on the right of me, I'd hurt all of my life, really. But it. Oh, it manifested horribly. He thought through the landscape work and whatever, but I'd hurt all my life. I was born a um, breached 10-pound baby, and Mom was Mm. dying. They ripped and tore me, Mm. a country birth. And uh, anyway, um, after I read his credentials, there was no doubt he had gone to France to learn from a urologist that had quit everything to learn a surgery to help people. So he saved my life. I was once again, he he absolutely saved my life. So so here's the, yeah, because there's no cure because you, because you were going to all these people. So as we wrap this up, we want to tell people that this is something they can, there's people that are suffering from things they don't understand. And you said the key thing, you went out there and you look for other people. That's the thing to do. You shared your story and you're sharing this book. It's called fighting to survive. Judy yes. Rents. You can get it on Amazon or Barnes and Noble. Judy, thank yes. you so much for coming on the show and sharing your story. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You have to let people know if you've found help at all because you die. You cannot live with this disease. It's written as in stage cancer pain, but we can't get help. Yeah. So um, I'm just praying that the med community might get word of it, and especially the suicidal people, because it's called the suicide disease. And uh, doctors just don't help us. They don't know it. They don't study it. And thank God I found a wonderful specialist in Chattanooga. And you were able to Uh, do that. Hey, Judy, thanks. We appreciate it. That was great. we got to cut you off here, because this was good good information. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.